with filming having wrapped on the Epic TV adaptation of Good Omens, author and showrunner Neil Gaiman is now deep into the editing process, ahead of the show's 2019 launch. Based on Gaiman's 1990 book, co-written with the late Terry Pratchett, the series produced by Amazon Studios and BBC Studios will bring to life the story of the demon Crowley, David Tennant, and the angel Aziraphale, Michael Sheen, as they seek to prevent the coming of the Antichrist. Advertisement, continue reading below for now, it's intended as a standalone series, and with many more months of post-production lying ahead, Gaiman told Digital Spy that his thoughts haven't yet turned to the possibility of a follow-up, it has a beginning and a middle and an end, he said of the six-parter. Right now, all I'm thinking about is just getting to the end and getting out of the cutting room, indeed, while Gaiman did discuss a possible sequel to the original book with Pratchett, he's actually incorporated much of the material planned for the next novel into the TV show's six episodes. I wound up drawing from the planned book follow-up for this, he explained. Things like, expanding into heaven and hell, and we have John Hamm as the angel Gabriel, and Gabriel is not in the book, but he and the other angels, and a bunch of the other demons, come from all the conversations Terry Pratchett and I had about what we would do in a second book. Advertisement, continue reading below, so in some ways, I've already kind of used that material up, related, Good Omens TV series will feature a touching tribute to the late. Terry Pratchett serving as showrunner on Good Omens, Gaiman said he's learned important lessons from collaborating with other writer, producers on previous screen versions of his works. If you've written a script and you then hand it over to other people, you're kind of putting yourself in the lap of the gods, you may well get something which wins awards, and that's happened to me in the past, or you can just have people come in and randomly remove scenes for budget reasons, and suddenly now the thing doesn't make sense anymore. All you want to do is go round and apologize to everybody who's seen it, no, but honestly, trust me, it made sense, it really did, I think having done good omens will make it a lot harder for other showrunners to bullshit me in the future, this good omens series, produced by Amazon Studios and BBC Studios, isn't actually the first time that Gaiman and Pratchett's book has been adapted. In 2014, a radio adaptation was broadcast on BBC Radio 4, with Mark Keep and Peter Serafinowitz in the lead roles. Reflecting on that previous version, Gaiman said it served as an interesting experiment ahead of the new TV series, with, again, aspects that worked. Josie Lawrence reprises her role of the witch Agnes Nutter on television, and parts that didn't, it was almost like letting radio producer Dirk Meggs walk through a minefield ahead of us, he said. One of the things that Dirk had taken out was the narrator, the voice of the book. For this, I knew we had to have a voice of God that kept us going through the story. Insisting on that narrator voice was something I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't missed it so much in the radio version, said voice is being provided by Oscar winner. Francis McDormand joining a stellar cast that, along with Tennant, Sheen and Ham, also includes Jack Whitehall, Miranda Richardson, Sir Derek Jacobi, Daniel Mays and many more, I'm in love with. Nick Offerman has the tiniest part, Gaiman said. He's the USA ambassador, the father to the kid that, they think is the Antichrist, and he came in at no notice because the original actor who was meant to play that part had a family tragedy and suddenly we had to recast, and it was magic. He's so funny and so true. That one I think was my biggest surprise, just the gloriousness of that, Good Omens director Douglas McKinnon insisted that the key to attracting such big names was simply, the remarkable amount of love for the book, from anybody who came in for even one line, David Morrissey showed up to do one line, essentially, and just loved it, and loved the world, McKinnon said. He's got no need to do that, but he shot this little cameo. We've got the League of Gentlemen guys, Mark Gaddis, Steve Pemberton and Reese Shearsmith not all in the same scene, but they're all there. It's an amazing cast of people, Good Omens will launch on Amazon Prime Video in 2019, with a BBC2 broadcast to follow. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Instagram and Twitter account.